Earlier today I received feedback from a very loyal friend and a viewer who thought that the pace generally of my videos was a little too slow. You see on YouTube people generally talk fast and they do fast edits, so the whole thing really happens in a short attention span. That speaks really to the demographic of people who use YouTube who have been raised to expect that things should speed up. Now initially I respond to say that you know most people I talk to tend to be a little older. Part of it is I'm doing this for my grandfather, my father, and some of the older people in my family so they can get to see me on a regular basis. But generally speaking, as someone who works on CBC Radio, I'm used to dealing with an audience that tends to be a little older. Further, I like to talk slow and be clear in terms of what I'm saying because I like to use an authoritative tone. I like people to take what I'm saying seriously and think about it, so that's why I tend to go slow. But the other reason is I tend to practice improvisation, and as a result, by going slow it gives me time to think, and at the same time I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to say a few sentences later. But I do respect the fact that most people on YouTube expect people to talk fast and it saves your time that you're able to get to ideas pretty quick. And in fact, a lot of rants and rant styles are more funny and effective when you're talking really fast. You can say things really quickly and pretend like you didn't mean it because you were just talking off the golf your mouth. Now, the other problem with talking real fast is it is difficult to do over an extended period of time. But I have been happy with the fact that I've been doing videos that have been a minute, two minutes, or relatively short. So I suppose one of the benefits of doing it a little faster allows me to deal with that uh, extra time. Now you notice I only said it all a couple of times, and that's I guess both the other benefit of talking so fast. It allows you to compress some of your nervous habits into a general speaking style. But then you do have to wonder over the course of time whether someone's saying actually anything interesting. Now, I have tried to say stuff that's profane, that's profound, that gives you to think a little bit, or at least talks in a larger philosophical element. And I kinda wonder if I'll be able to do that while talking fast, generally speaking, all the time. Now one thing I do plan to do as I get past the hundred episodes is completely change the format of this show. So instead of it being continuity where it's one episode after another, they're more standalone little films. In which in some cases, if I'm talking to a different audience, I'm talking to people today who are meant to be younger, it's not going to understand why I talk a little faster than I normally would, but rather have a fast pace. But generally speaking, I think my normal audience appreciates when I talk a little slower, especially when I try to explain things that require you to think, so you need time in between the words to get that in. Now with that said, I am curious to get your response and see what you think my proper pace should be, and if you think it's possible to talk too fast, or talk too slow, or exactly how fast you should be. So to do that, you know, maybe post a video response and tell me your own. No, Stroh1, on oh, I'm really, he's a good friend of mine. He's doing a great little podcast right now, in which he's talking about two corners. He kind of had his own version of Mackenzie Brothers meet John Sherry. So if anything, I'll leave you with a quick little clip from that and hope that you'll enjoy Stroh1 Bell. Thank you very much, and I hope that you have a nice day.